In this video I'm going to show you how to use the cartoon photoshop action. So the way the action works is you open your photo and just play the action and here's the effect that the action creates. As you can see what the action does, the action transforms the photo into the cartoon effect and the results that you get are fully layered so there is a lot of options for customizing the results and the action also creates even 4D preset color logos that you can choose from. So let me just close this window. So after you open your photo, before you start using the action, there are just a few things you should check just to make sure that the action will run without any errors. So the first thing you check is that your photo is the background layer, so it should be called the background, and here this is the little icon. And if you have something like this, or anything else, just go to layer, new, and choose a background from layer. Then click on this menu icon over here, go to panel options, and just make sure that this option here, the add copy to copy layers and groups is checked. Then go to the image mode, make sure your photo is the RGB color mode, 8-bit canon. You can also check the image size from here. So for best results, you should use the images that run from 25 to 4500 pixels wide or high. Okay. Now to load the action, just go to Window, Actions. Click on this menu icon right here, Load Actions. And now just choose the action from a folder according to a Photoshop version. You select the action file, choose Load. And the action will appear here. So you open the folder, you'll find two actions here. So all you have to do now is to just select the cartoon action here and click play. And I'm going to fast the video here and I'm going to get back as soon as the action is finished and then I'm going to go through all the layers to show you how they work and how to customize the effect. Alright, so the action has just finished, so I'm just going to close the action panel for now and I'm going to expand a little bit this layers panel. So the first thing you probably want to do each time you run the action is just quickly close down all these folders. So how can you do that? Is to just hold Control and Down buttons for PC or Command Option for Mac. And while the cartoon folder is selected, just click on this arrow here. And that way we're going to close down all the folders. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start customizing this effect from the bottom. So just going to hide all the layers and now I'm going to start turning them on one by one to show you how each layer works, how it affects the design and how can you customize it. Alright, so what we got here, the first layer we got here is the original photo layer, the background layer. Alright, so the next we got here is the base effect layer. Alright, so just going to turn it on. And the next we got here is the outlines folder, so I'm just going to turn it on. And when you open the folder, you'll find two outlines layers. So just going to zoom in so you can better see the details. And I'm just going to hide these two layers. So this layer here is getting more subtle outlines. And you got uh, another one with much more uh, visible outlines. And what you can do here is you can change the opacities of any of these two layers. So all layers that you customize by changing the opacity, you can change the opacity either by clicking on the word opacity and drag it to the side. Right? Or you can just click on this letter here and then just drag the slider left to right. Right. So what you can also do is you can change the opacity of the complete folder. Just like that. Also, if there is some outline that you don't like, what you can do is you can select uh, the layer where that outline is. Right. Or you can select again the complete folder and if there is any outline that you wish to remove, just select the layer mask of that layer. You choose the brush tool, you can right click anywhere inside the canvas to open up the brushes panel, not just pick a soft brush and set foreground color to black. And simply brush wherever you wish to remove that specific outline. And you can do the same for this layer here. And if you brush it to this folder, then you're going to remove both of these layers on the places where you brush. Right. I'm just going to leave this default. So the next we got here is the cartoonized layer. So what this layer does, as you can see, is going to boost a little bit uh, both contrast and saturation and going to give that uh, more of that uh, cartoon look to the photo. All right. And what you can do is you can change the opacity of this layer. Just like this. All right. And what you can also do is you turn on this layer here, it's the cartoonized saturation layer, you just double click on this layer thumbnail and here you can change the saturation if you like. And again, if you wish to remove any part of this layer, what you can do is select the layer mask, pick a brush tool, pick a soft brush, set foreground color to black and simply remove wherever you wish 
to remove this layer. All right? So I'm just going to leave it default as well. And what we got here next is the color looks folder. So just going to turn it on. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there are four different set color looks that you can choose from. And all you have to do is to just select the color look that you want to try. You turn it on. You see how it looks. And if you don't like it, you simply try with another until you find one that goes best with your photo. And what you can also do is you can combine a few of color looks. And how to do that is to just turn on one color look and you can adjust its opacity. And then turn on another color look and then change its opacity if you like. So on this way you can combine even more than two color looks and create even more uh, color looks. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. So I'm just going to turn on this one here. And just going to drop down the opacity a little bit. And I'm going to turn on this one here. Again, I'm going to adjust the opacity. All right. And next what we got is the overall contrast. So just going to turn it on. And how you adjust the contrast is you just change the opacity of this layer. like that. And next what we got is the overall brightness. So I'm going to turn it on and when you double click on this layer thumbnail here in the properties panel you can now uh, adjust the brightness of the photo using these five sliders. So with this slider here you can boost the shadows of your photo. With this one here you can boost the highlights. With this one here is going to affect the midtones and you can use this one here to fade the shadows and this slider right here to fade the highlights. All right? So just gonna fade the shadows just a little bit. Just like that. And the next we got is the oral vibrance and saturation layer. So just gonna double click here. And using these two sliders, you can just drag them to left or right and adjust the vibrance and saturation of your photo. So I'm going to boost the vibrance and saturation. Just like that. Alright. And lastly what we got here is the overall sharpening layer. So if you made any changes to the photo, so for example you have removed some outline or literally any other changes, you need to update this layer again. So how to do that? You just open the actions panel and just select the update sharpening action and click play. Alright. And the action will update this layer. So how can you adjust the sharpening now is to just change the opacity of this layer. All right. So I'm just going to leave it default. All right. So that's it. And let's just quickly check the before and after effect. So this is the before and this is the after. Just going to zoom out. So the before and the after. Alright, so I hope you understood everything, but if you still need any help or you got any questions, feel free to contact me anytime via my Envato profile page. Thanks for watching.